This is the story of my adventures on the Appalachian Trail with my 13-year-old daughter, Chili. We started where I ended my last solo section hike at the James River footbridge in the parking lot. We ate a picnic of fresh berries and cheese since we weren't gonna get that for a few days and got picked up by strings from Stanimals and shuttled to our starting point. All right, me and Chili have been on the trail for about an hour now. We've come across our first stream, so we're drinking a bunch of water and refilling some that I just got in here. It's a very pretty stream. Great place to sit, have a snack. Chili is not feeling too hot today. It's been a rough start for both of us. We almost got in a car accident on the way here, but I'll talk about that later. One of us is at the end of a cold. The other one has her period. So yeah, good times. But we're hiking on. <laughs> <sighs> we'll get it together. <laughs> it's really pretty over here. It's really pretty over here too. <laughs> it's pretty all over this place. But okay. You're only a few steps away. I can do it. Let's see if you're seeing what I oh yeah. You got a better view around the bend there from here. You were right. Sometimes you have to change your perspective up a little. <laughs> All right, we've made it to our shelter for the night. Sophia was dragging ass behind me until we stopped. I got some water and a snack in her and adjusted her pack correctly. Now she's always ahead of me. Tonight, we find a tent spot. What is this thing? Oh, it's a grill that goes over the fire. Duh. Okay. Hmm. Is there a bat in there? A bat? Like a baseball bat or the animal bat? Ooh. Really? In here? You thought you saw one? I'm not seeing one. <sighs> we did. We got here super early. I need to look what the name of this one is again. I've already forgotten. I wonder where the good tent sites are. Ah, Brown Mountain Shelter. Hey, we're in George Washington National Forest. Maybe the tent sites are over there. I don't see anything that good over here. Maybe up there a little ways. Ooh. Hmm, if we can't find a good tent site, we'll just crash in the shelter, I guess. Unless a huge group of the uh, northbound bubble comes and wants to stay. Okay, so found the privy, but someone left the door open, which sometimes it's no big deal when it's an open privy anyway, but this is a closed one up top. Therefore, all the bugs flew in and are like trapped in there with me. All kinds of damn bugs. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it when all the bugs are trapped in there with me. Bees, flies, wasps. I might just go behind a tree over here instead. Oh, peeing and pooping in the woods. 
Always a blast. Okay. Okay, so Sophia and I just got our tent pitched. I got the bear bag hung, or at least a little rock sack for it, way over there across the stream. We're by the stream. It's real nice. And now we're going to go back up to the shelter and make some dinner. Dinner was this rehydrated meal from a brand new company called Trail Magic Virginia. They sent this smoked chicken and bacon carbonara to me for free in exchange for my honest review, which is that it was delicious. The pasta rehydrated beautifully. It was tender and this smoky chicken was so good and tender as well. Bacon, green onions, and just a really good sauce in there. So I will definitely be purchasing some more of this stuff. Highly recommend. This chick here was a ridge runner named Mia, AKA Spider. She was taking information on trail for a few weeks about the hikers. She told us that it was a record year for through hikers on trail. Six through hikers showed up to the shelter that evening and I played my dulcimer for them and the song you heard earlier. It was really fun. And I woke up after a damn good sleep, ready to do a 20 mile day. Except uh, we didn't do a 20 mile day. <laughs> There had been just one tree that I could find with just the right branch for bear bag hanging. At least proper bear bag hanging. And it required wading through this stream a little ways. So I had a mini adventure when I hung it and another mini adventure that morning to get it. But it was kind of fun. across all these little islands to get to my food bag. Made it. Beautiful morning. Look at that. There's nothing better than sleeping next to a stream. If you ask me. where we just camped. Wow, there were a lot of tent sites over here. We didn't even come this far to check it out. Eee, someone stanky old shorts. Dang it. Why people gotta leave stuff around? It's gross. So we are getting out 8.15 this morning. Chili's already way ahead of me. She's got a lot of energy for a kid that hasn't done any sports or much exercise for almost a year and a half. There she is. But we've been walking along this stream since we left camp. We slept really well by that stream, uneventfully. It took two hours to get packed up. It's been almost a year since I had to do that whole rigmarole. So. Ah, what's over here? Don't know what that is, but trail is this way. Yay, a stream crossing! Been having a lot of fun with these this time. Of 
quite proud of my PCT hang last night. On the third try, I got my little rock bag and rope over the tree, hoisted that heavy bag full of food for the three-day weekend for both of us up pretty easily and got it back down. I always get kind of nervous about that, but even though I haven't actually done it in about a year, it's like riding a bicycle. No bear encounters, and food was safe, and everyone's happy. Met lots of cool hikers. The uh, caboose of the bubble headed northbound. Um, I can't remember all of their names. One of them was Popeye, one was Moss, one was Moses. Um, met a guy named Picnic Basket. A guy named Hatchet who's doing a southbound section hike like us. And a really cool Ridge Runner named Mia who's into anime so she connected with Sophia. And she's a musician who used to play the mountain balsamer. So she and I connected as well. I'll never forget her. She was super sweet. Pretty little things here. Hmm. Not sure what those are. Oh. Stopped on this big rock to have a nice snack just off the trail, which is there. Having some cashews and little peach, real fruit juice gummies with little smiley faces and feet. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> and these delicious sour watermelon kitty cat gummies. They are really good. They're from some candy company in England, but we found them at Walmart. Score. <laughs> so we have a little bit of a climb coming up to Punch Bowl, or before Punch Bowl, um, Overlook and Shelter, which will be our stopping point today after 10 miles of hiking. It's a beautiful, overcast, cooler day than yesterday but not a lot of rain yet. A tiny bit of drizzle early in the day. Did you feel that? Yeah, it's beautiful. We started to get mere glimpses of the surrounding mountains on our second day headed towards Punch Bowl Shelter. Sadly, this puny view would be one of our best all day. We're already halfway through our day. I think it's like 10 o'clock. We had already gone five miles by 9.30, having left at 8.15, so not bad. Yes! For two chicks who have been getting dusty on a shelf for a year. Gotta say, this suspension bridge was pretty fun. Kinda wibbly wobbly. Made you feel like you'd been drinking. Cool, it's like, woo, 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 wobbly. Cool. All right. Okay, so what you don't see here is the almost two mile climb that Chili and I had mostly gotten through by the time we hit this water source. This water was so good. We were exhausted and thirsty and someone had previously done the leaf and rock trick to channel a little bit of water through to make it easier to collect, which I always love. And right above that little water source there, we found a nice little path up to a spot to eat our lunch because we're halfway through our day. A little more than half. We've gone a little more than six miles. And we have less than five miles to go. Good job, us. <laughs> yeah, we're here, dear. We just uh, got through a pretty tough climb for us. Neither one of us was really feeling it, but we made it. <laughs> we had some moments. I don't think there were any tears, though. Yeah, just a lot of uh, agony. No tears, but that's it. <laughs> no tears. So yay, there's a lovely flat bit surrounded by green undergrowth. Understory. 
whatever you call this, forest understory, some, some such thing, under something, under trees, under a growth, it's under, it's under me, it's under her. <laughs> These are mostly like oaks and maple and some other thing. I don't really know what that is, but I'm still going to sing about pines. My girl, my girl, don't lie to me. Tell me where did you sleep last night? In the pines, in the pines where the sun don't ever shine, I will shiver the whole day through. My girl, my girl, where will you go? I'm going where the cold winds blow. In the pines, in the pines, where the sun don't ever shine, I will shiver the whole day through. Ah, there's a really nice breeze right here, so nice. And some sun-dappled forest in places. Mostly overcast though, right above us. Which makes it feel pretty good. We passed the 800 mile mark for the northbound through hikers, which was pretty cool to see. All right, so we got to the top of this little climb here, and there was a pretty decent view. No spectacular views on this section though. But I am having a pretty amazing snack. Japanese matcha vanilla with amaranth and Himalayan pink salt. It sounded really weird and fancy and I loved it. And um, so I got it. And it's delicious. Look at this. It actually tastes like green tea and vanilla. Got these nice little crunchy protein balls. Two thumbs up. And it's plant-based. So there you go, vegans. We'd made it 10 miles to Punchbowl Shelter and this weird little frog pond by 4 p.m. We could have pressed on further a few miles to some stealth sites, but I was riding that fine line of wanting Sophia to overall enjoy the trip. Being proud of the hard work she had done, but not so much work that she was hating it. So we stopped here for the night. There's a nice picnic table here though. Lots of tent sites. And a fire ring. So we may tent right there and build a fire to keep the bugs away. Well, I am climbing high mountains, trying to get home.